I think that's, that looks good. Yeah, I think that's good enough. So we're going to push this up. Now, here's the last thing we're, we're, we've done for today is there's two places to push up. So we're going to go, obviously, over to uh, here, and then we're going to look on lock side. Um, I must have pushed everything up already. Let me just make sure. <coughs> it's more metadata. Uh, so the CMS has a lot of metadata going on. So we're going to watch uh, lock how to set up over there. Now, Servoy doesn't have any changes, but um, what am I looking for? It looks like the same thing. The directory that's in the Servoy web directory, we have on SVN as well. And here's the changes. I've changed the layout in the CSS. And so we're going to go ahead and um, put this in. Cornerstone. I like it now that I've used it for about a year. It takes forever to freaking, man, SVN can be just a, but boy, it's, you can do this all day long now that you once you've got it in your workflow. So if you have multiple developers and there's Troy, there's me, there's Locke, there's a couple other people scattered around that we do this with. So make yourself learn how to do SVN. Make yourself do it. I hated it to begin with. I had a scathing forum post on and so what was this? Savoy four first came out, Savoy five. I was just like could this like be any more complicated? And believe it or not, the Servoy's version of FCBN I like so much better than third-party tools like Cornerstone is, is is even a Mac program. It's more complicated in my opinion than Servoy. And uh, have you queued up over there a lot? I'm ready. Okay. <coughs> Uh, David, do you see my screen? I've got it. Yeah, so I, I, uh, I have Cornerstone fired up. The white and, thing over uh, there on the left is what's on newer on the repository, right? Right. Yeah, so we have uh, what's changed, and uh, we have newer in repository, so we can see this, this change that uh, David made, and uh, we can just pull that down. So we hit the update button. He's not going to commit that one change because I think he was head rolling on his keyboard when he did that. I don't remember what the change was. <laughs> yeah. So we got that. Hey. And that smart client wigging out is a, a David Workman and Troy Elliott error. If he restarts the smart client, then it doesn't look like that. It's not an error, it's what we call a font fix, and it works perfectly on, on uh, deployed, but when you're a developer, when you're mixing a uh, headless client with smart client, um, the, the headless client will trigger a method that we don't need to be triggered again that does that. Uh, okay, so the first thing you're going to do is we're going to update our themes, right? Yeah. Now you're struggling with a smaller window too, I see. Yeah. So we're not catching up with him in terms of uh, a couple seconds behind you, but we've got you here. So we have inner? Yeah, go to the right bar. It's at the top. Yeah. And add a block. Yeah. All right. Okay. <coughs> and we're going to go to pages. We're going to refresh this one. Yes. Um, let me send you the uh, code for that that I have on my side. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate this and unlock it. Okay. Okay. 
I just sent it to you on a, there you go, you've got Grell on, great, perfect. Now again, Tiny MCE is for non-HTML code, so you can um, turn on the advanced toolbars of Tiny MCE and paste it right into the um, HTML version, or you can, if you hit save on this lock, and then go to the data mode up there, just paste it in. <coughs> so in this mode, you can go into edit and then paste in, you know, HTML code directly. Uh, so that's we have three modes that you can mess around with. A lot of you know, most CMSs they're basically just one, and they usually the newer ones are going into real mode. Uh, click it over to real mode and just uh, give us a. Always tweaking this, making sure it runs. This is the first time it loads up, it takes a second. And um, there we go. It, it, the thing in smart client is you can't use firebugs, so we're using, you know, we use a. If you go to the GUI mode, you can just click on the visit tab there at the top. If you shift click, it'll copy it. Um, I don't see, I'm going to point it out on my side, but it's right there. Let me flip over to mine and uh, just show everybody. This visit will go to that web page. Um, so it's working on, on your side lock. So just to wrap up, you need to refresh the other two pages in that home directory. And um, I guess you have a job of doing content for these three pages. And I think we're done for the coding session part of this today. My last words are, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Locke, thank you for helping me out. You have any last words? Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> there we are. Oh, super. Thank you. This is the end of this coding session, number nine.